And what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Appreciate you guys being here. Today I thought I would sit down and just watch some of my favorite reckless eating memories. And I've pretty much been around since the beginning of reckless eating and I'm grateful that I was able to share moments with you guys and be able to get together with my friends and shoot some videos and eat some weird shit or drink some weird shit and just be able to create a little bit of entertainment that sometime over the past 10 years you guys have clicked play on a video that I was involved in on the reckless eating channel and got to smile, got to laugh. I'm just super happy that we got to share over the past 10 years these moments. But now what I want to do is I want to sit down and I want to go over just a few videos that like when I reflect on reckless eating, when I think about what I've done in the past, these are the videos that come to mind and I, I hope it brings a smile to your guys' face. I want to just sit down and, and watch it with you. So here is my top 10 reckless eating moments right here. Let's get into it. Now, on the Why Nashville video, I told you guys that I edited like 12 or 13 videos. It ended up being like 15 or 16 different We main shows, including like a whole bunch of challenges and stuff. And I was grateful for the opportunity to try and take my, my editing and what I kind of envisioned for the channel and bring it to you guys on the Reckless Eating channel. So that was really cool to be able to say that I did that. Now, over all of the main shows that I ended up filming with the Reckless Eating channel, there is one from the filming to the time that I had with the people that we were with to the actual editing to your guys's comments to just everything I just wanted to make this like a special mention it's not part of my top 10 I just wanted to tell you guys like my favorite video that I got to edit and that was the run one mile banana sprite challenge which was main show 109 I'm just walking on normal, Matt and Chris are just like, being Matt and Chris, oh it's so good. Oh that drone shot, yes. That music that we found, just everything ended up working so perfectly with it. Welcome to another episode of Reckless City Main Show number 109. And then I pull out the money in the bank. Now I created those lunch boxes. I ordered those lunch boxes online, and then I went to a uh, this guy that does car dealership. Like for your car, he'll print out like some uh, some vinyl stickers and stuff like that. And we we created a uh, money in the bank lunch box, which I thought it was perfect with the food review channel. And then Blum comes in. Oh man, it's. Uh, you know, just that entire thing was good. Every video that we have in this top 10 is going to be linked down below. So if you guys want to take the time to go back and rewatch just some, some amazing memories that I'm happy to be able to share with you guys, uh, make sure to go ahead and do that. I wasn't able to put anything like in an order. This isn't in a specific order of my favorite moments. This is in a date time frame, right? Like what day was it posted? And then we'll just go on to the newer stuff. So we're going to kind of flash back here real quick. It's fun to really look back and uh, look at the people that we've done videos with, look at the dates on them and how many views that we've had. So let's get started with number one on the list is main show number 12. I believe that this is the first main show that I have ever done. Now I don't even remember uh, how this happened, but Matt and Chris ended up asking me if I wanted to do a main show with them. Uh, they just had some stuff that was like built up. Uh, this was the snake wine and skank shot concoction or something like that and it's it's crazy to even think that number 12 so we're talking one year into the channel um nine years ago a whole nine years ago i did my very first main show and it was a terrifying and miserable experience look at that i had long hair i had long hair uh still wearing my lip piercing chris is all like clean shaven and haircut oh man that was just yeah, I ended up having to get drunk just to shoot this. Like, I didn't even want to be a part of this. I don't even remember if I was just there and people didn't show up or whoever was supposed to be the guest. That's generally how I've gotten on main shows. Somebody doesn't show up or somebody can't make it, so I end up jumping in. I feel like Matt and I have changed so much, and Chris, like, Chris just looks like Chris. Chris is still the same Chris that we all know. Crab extract, that's right. But I do look back at this video 
I, or I don't even look back at it. I think back at shooting this video. Not only was it my first main show, but this was so pushing my limits for something that we've done. Like I had done chunk challenges and stuff like that prior, I believe, but to actually sit down and have to eat snake and eat crab extract and just all of these things that were just so past my norm uh it was such a weird transition kind of now as long as it's not spicy now i end up just eating whatever's put in front of me and i'm like ah fuck it i'm eating so much worse right but this this was miserable what <laughs> we go moving on time for the main event Snake wine, aka copperhead wine. This came from our friend. Okay, so now the biggest part of this buildup is uh, Matt knows this. Everyone knows this. I am terrified of snakes uh, for no other reason other than staring at them is awful. Um, I just know nothing about them. They are just the creepiest, ugliest things that I could even think of existing on the planet. Uh, probably right next to sharks. So now drinking the alcohol was, that was okay. Not that it was delicious, but like, I, I you know, it was all right. In a minute, we open up the bottle, Chris breaks into it, and then I think we all take a nibble of the snake, and to even get close enough to even think about it took so much willpower. Oh, this was just terrifying. It was terrifying, and Chris loves to torture you. If he can figure out what your weakness is, he's gonna go after it. Oh man, we were absolutely miserable. All right, so we're gonna move on. Definitely go back and watch that main show. It is very old, it is old school, it is just, I, I mean, it's kind of hard to watch, but it's fun. And to think that that even has 202,000 views is just, that's insane to me. Number two on our list comes from the very first Centurion Challenge, the 100 and 100 as it's known as. This was the Bud Light Centurion Challenge. We've got Andrew 3000, Havoc, Chris, myself, and Matt Zion. That's one hell of a group right there. I believe that this is the first 100 and 100 on the channel. Uh, this was the first one that we tried. We sat down with Bud Light. It was the five of us. We were excited to get into this and like to look at how different we all are as human beings. Like looking back at all these videos, that's crazy. Here's to 100 minutes. Oh my God. I love you all. I love you all. I put roofies in the shot. Here we go. Thumbs up. It's amazing when you end up doing something like this, uh, you don't realize how long 100 minutes is, especially when you're consuming alcohol. 100 minutes of anything repetitively gets old very, very fast. Uh, so to do a challenge like this is um, not recommended. All right, so we're approaching 25, which was my goal was to hit 25. I'm, I, I'm, I mean, it's cool to be able to say that I at least did 25. That was not an easy uh, uh, task to be able to overcome. We're talking 36 shots into this, and it is already becoming a disaster. Editing things like this is never fun. Matt shot this down to a like 15 minute video i think it was like 13 minutes worth of actual taking shots uh he did a great job editing this wow chris was the first one out i feel like that's kind of a theme wow i made it halfway that might be my most impressive uh a 100 and 100 challenge oh i'm not looking good though not looking good by 52 or 53 Worse than 55. Okay, I've disappeared by 60. Where the hell did I go? Uh, no, I, okay, I'm taking it. All right. Oh, what a disaster. You could just tell that, that we are all, all feeling this challenge. Damn. Wow, I made it to 70. And we're all just standing up. We're too drunk to even pay attention that there's a camera there. Oh, I am taking the smallest sips, the smallest sips. Oh, I'm laying on the couch? Oh, no. 76. Wow, I made it to 80. Almost? Maybe? Did I actually drink that? 80. I made it to 80. Wow, so it came down to Matt and Andrew. Holy shit, that was definitely the best I had done on any 100 in a 100 that I've ever tried. Ever. 
All right, so Matt definitely went out. A3K looks to be the sole survivor of this video. That was a really fun watch. That was kind of crazy to go back and see that happen. Uh, it is definitely hurting. Uh, but he made it to 100. Wow. That was, that was a really fun video. And to uh, cut it all down into such a small amount of time is really hard to do and still give you guys like the uh, all the funniness of it all, but it was still really good. Dried black fungus. Only a video with 10,000 views. Not, not many views at all. Posted July 2nd, 2011. This is definitely one of the ones that I remember shooting there. I remember sitting. It was me, Havoc, and Dante. And I remember sitting there. Uh, I remember... I remember eating this. I remember laughing a whole bunch that day. Like we used to shoot 10 videos in a single day. And that was just, yeah, look at us. Wow, we just look like babies. Man, that, that was some good times. I was definitely a heavier dude back oh, then. Uh, now just a few more pounds, but yeah. uh, I was in I was in good shape. Wow. Still a year and a half <laughs> past uh, my injury or a year <laughs> past my injury. Uh, dog but food. Dog food smells pleasant sometimes. Looking at myself, that looks like such a different version of me. That, that, that's crazy. Oh, none of us. Oh, we struggled. But it was moments like that where sitting down in just such a, a tiny quarters with, with all of your friends, shooting some, some videos. This is probably like two in the afternoon or something like that on a Tuesday. Like we just had so much fun sitting. I mean, in every location that we've ever filmed, we've always had a great time. But uh, those those videos from the jewelry store definitely. I mean, they just kind of warmed my heart. Like those were those were good times. Pretty awesome. Now this was a random, random video. Uh, just, we were waiting on people to show up. Matt was like, you need to try this type thing. It's called Sean Tries Satan Shit. Now it only has 18,000 views. It was posted July 9th, 2011. And it wasn't even anything that really, Nashy, come on, we're, we're filming a video here. This was one of the first spicy things that I remember doing. We had done crazy spicy things like atomic wings at certain places. This was the You're first spicy thing that so I remember so. doing All right, on the channel. Here we channel. go. Countdown. Three, two, one, go. Does it taste good at least? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Reality strikes. <laughs> oh, fuck you all. So what are you going through? What kind of what kind of flavor? Oh. At least give it a rating. What flavor? <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> But the taste, there was no spiciness. That was just visual. Uh, none of that was was pleasant. I would actually like to go back and try uh, Satan shit to see if it's as spicy as I remember it being. But like, that's one of those things that definitely stuck out in my head, saying like, uh, spice just sucks, and kind of got me uh, prepared for what actual capsaicin spice, like some of the nastiest shit you've ever tried actually will be like. Oh man, the earthquake challenge. That was one hell of a video back in the day. Uh, I could be wrong, but I believe it was one of my first chug challenges that I ended up doing on the channel, which there ended up being probably a hundred other chug challenges after that. This was shot at uh, Rebel, Old Man Tom, and Matt Zion's house. They used to all be roommates back in the day. This was in their backyard. And I think it was like a earthquake, high gravity, logger chug challenge. This tasted like shit. I think it was like a dollar a beer or something. Matt got it all, so I don't quite know. But they were super cheap, super nasty. That yeah, was just not a pleasant experience whatsoever. Wow. Chug challenges are just not my thing. I just don't enjoy them whatsoever. Drinking these nasty beers and stuff like that does not make it uh, even more of an entertaining process. We were probably like having some type of filming party or just hanging out with everyone. We used to get together all the time. Of course, pre-pandemic. After the six minute mark, you can throw up if you need to. Oh. Rubble with a random vomit. Oh, Jesus. Poor guy. None of that was good. Just none of this uh, was good at all. That was just, chug challenges are miserable no matter what way you look at them. Now coming up at number six on this list is going to be the original Four Loco Pong. Uh, Four Loco Pong was definitely something 
that kind of took YouTube by storm. We were the first ones to do a Four loco Pong. Uh, this video ended up getting, at this time right now, we're talking about 1.8 million views. This was posted December 10th, 2011. Four loco Pong was a ridiculous idea that Matt came up with. Uh, it ended up being myself and Chris as the Recognitions uh, against Matt Zahn and Andrew 3000, Z3K. Uh, we just randomly put together these teams, had some fun playing a beer pong style with Four Loco. And we're talking some of the original flavors of Four Loco. Things have changed now, things are completely different with the way that they create Four Loco products. I've never been a Four Loco fan, there were some of Matt's favorite drinks. But to be able to do a Pong with this is the dumbest idea we could possibly do. 10 different flavors of Four Loco. That's how crazy things got back in the day. 10 flavors of Four Loco. I think I've ended up being in like four or five different Four Loco Pongs eh, at this point. And that is just, I hate Four Loco so much. How I've gotten sucked into these, it's because I was there for the original one. but. God, those ended up being uh, good days, good times, blackout drunk, miserably vomiting, passed out, but like, I mean, I still hold them in fond memory. Oh man, and we totally screwed ourselves too, because I, I believe the rule was, was before you take a shot, you have to take a drink of beer. So now not only are you taking a drink of a beer before you throw, but then you are also then drinking the Four loco once the balls are sunk. Man, so we ended up getting, I mean, we get, really really drunk drinking that much for loco i don't recommend anybody doing that whatsoever i hope to never do it again in my life like this uh we got incredibly plastered had a great time sweetie your hair yeah <laughs> oh my god look at you compared to andrew way different huh we all changed drastically Holy macaroni. Man, things started really, really breaking down at the end here. Like, 10 Four Locos divided up. So we're talking like two and a half Four Locos a person? I mean, we kept it a very close game. To think that we came down to two to one was like the, the final. But Chris and I ended up having a wonderful record through the Four Loco Pongs. Uh, we make a pretty damn good team, which, which is fun. Uh, love Chris, love Matt, love Andrew. Just such good guys to be hanging out with. Four Loco Pong became one of the first like giant like viral videos that we've ended up putting out, and uh, like that was that was fun. That was cool to be able to say that we were one of the the first ones, or we were the first ones to end up doing uh, a Four Loco Pong. How crazy is that? All right, so our next video comes up. It's Main Show 26. This is the Goliath Worm Ghost Chili Infused Vodka. And this one was another one that stands out. Anytime I, I go back and think about reckless eating stuff, this one definitely stands out to the point of Matt wanted us to eat actual live living things. And uh, so the first main show I was on was like that that snake wine. And that was like nasty eating the, the, the snake pieces and particles. But then to actually have to eat a live living thing pushes my limits beyond belief. Oh, here we go. The Goliath worm. So this was an 18 minute video. Yeah, uh, something that, that ran incredibly long. But getting into the Goliath worms is something that is just, oh man, that still kind of brings back nightmares for me. I was spending this time trying to cut the worm in half. Unfortunately, it was still alive. Uh, now, I would never do anything like this. Uh, now, 2020 me would never touch a living animal like that, but back in 2011, it was, uh, I mean, it was a different world. Three, one, no! two, Why? no, one, no! <laughs> <laughs> My hand won't move! <laughs> do the camera again. Okay, three, Come two, on. one, go. <laughs> oh, like one chew and that's all I could do. Oh man, big shout out to Matt and Chris for being able to do more than that. The Goliath Worms, Ghost Chili, uh, Infused Vodka, that's, uh, uh.
Main Shell 26 was rough. That that changed my world. So that was an absolute terrible experience as most main shows are. We've got a Nancy here. Hello. Uh, so Nancy wasn't around for the original days here. So this is going to be the spam challenge. Now this is going to be myself, Havoc, and Chris Reckless trying to eat, individually eat a can of spam. And we did this in collaboration with Matt Stoney. So if you guys aren't familiar with Matt Stoney, uh, he absolutely does. Well, he you devours know, things. Yeah, you, you know Matt Stoney. Yeah, I do. Uh, we ended up doing a whole challenge of just eating a, a raw can of spam. I've been watching from the side and I'm like cooking my little burrito over here. And I was like, but what are you watching? <laughs> what are your thoughts on spam? I've never had it. I've only seen it. I've only heard of it. I've never actually had any interaction with it at all. Really? Yeah. Okay. So no, this is you guys trying to eat one can? One can. One full can. You can do it the fastest? It, it, the fastest. Oh, but Reckless does everything the fastest. He does. And then <laughs> ends up being, uh, we posted this video the same day that Matt Stoney posted his video. And he destroyed all of us. Well, I, wa I just watched him recently eat, like, what a gallon not a gallon a, a tub of fried of chicken and shit. no the pickles oh the pickles that's right the that pickles. was like a gallon of pickles was yeah a gallon of pickles? Not a gallon. something like that it was a ridiculous amount of pickles make sure to check out stony wow the most ridiculous amount of pickles look at that hair sweetie yeah wow oh chris is like poking his mouth like he's gonna just he's about to puke everywhere oh my god look how much he put in his mouth yeah he was like all right, so I guess the time limit was 90 seconds. None of you finished. None of us finished, but then Matt was like, okay, first to finish wins. They want to see a winner. Understandable. Everyone wants to see a winner. Yeah. Chris just made a giant Reckless fucking pile. Skinny. Yeah, he was. He was trim. Oh, man, it looks like I've got one more bite left. There we go. Okay, so it's in. I just have to get it down. Wow, I don't even remember this at all. There it is. I did it. I did it in 254, an entire can of spam. Holy shit. Look at the monster that Crystal has. So that was a very fun video that I still remember to this day. Uh, it's one of those things that like, you just remember doing some stupid stuff. The spam challenge definitely holds a special place in my heart. If you guys remember the spam challenge, comment down below. Now this one is a day that I will never forget. This one is the Genkiaki World's Hottest Tacos. They are called the Death Tacos. World's Hottest Taco Challenge. Your goal is, is to eat uh, I think it's 10 street tacos, street death, ta death street talk, some type of challenge. This day will go down in history. I was like in the first year of getting my vlog together, uh, Matt was like, let's go get these tacos. They're super hot. I don't even know why I said yes to this. I remember being in the back of the building. I left the building, walked into the alley behind there and just, I vomited my entire life right behind there. I ended up taking my shirt off. I had my pants like halfway down. I was overheating so bad that we were, Matt and I were both really, really close to calling an ambulance. Literally, the two of us were struggling so bad that we were just like, is this going to be the end of it all? All right, so the first bite. I remember they tasted great. I would love to go back to Genkiaki. Uh, they've got a couple locations in Southern California. I would love to go back and, and take a bite. Just enjoy an actual regular taco. Uh, we went and did the uh, ninja fries, I think it was, at, at one point. Uh, Nancy and I just enjoyed some while they were filming with uh, Kevin Ross and Natter, Reyna. Just, uh, I think Josh did it. Maybe one more person. But th there was a whole nother challenge <laughs> that people did. And uh, Nancy and I showed up, said some, uh, some hellos, ended up enjoying some of their fries. Like, they've got a really good menu. All right, so I think that completes my fourth taco. These death tacos were absolutely no joke. They were nothing to mess with. 
We're pretty sure that they screwed us. We typically do things that are naturally, organically created, not pure extract, right? So extract is the hottest of the hot when it comes to it. There is no way that they created these tacos without just dumping a whole bunch of extract on it, which for me takes away the enjoyability of it all. When you just take a compilation of peppers and things to create a beautiful sauce, then that's a different story. I'm gonna go ahead and eat it. But when you are just using an actual extract to create something that is so spicy that nobody can contain it, nobody can defeat your challenge, I feel like you're cheating. I feel like it's an asshole thing to do. Go ahead and throw some reaper pepper in there. Throw some ghost pepper in there. Go ahead and do these things, the scorpions and all this stuff, to be able to create a something that we're just getting the actual natural progression of the spice from the peppers themselves opposed to just just screwing up and you can see right here my eyes started swelling up i was having trouble breathing i was sweating like crazy like look how puffy i am i said said right there i was like my ears are getting numb oh that was just oh these death tacos were one of the worst challenges worst challenges i have ever done but, I mean, thinking that that was during the vlog day, so that's November 20th, 2016, we ended up putting that video out. Really cool that we got to do that, that was one of the crazier videos that we ended up doing. Then the final video in the top 10 that I end up having for you guys is something that almost wasn't possible, something that had no pre-planning like most of Reckless Eating does, it was just... We have an idea, let's let's figure out how to make this happen. I ended up putting out a vlog video over this one. Uh, this is the In-N-Out 100 by 100 uh, challenge. So it's like a Centurion challenge, but with meat patties. Uh, if any of you guys have ever been to an In-N-Out before, they're famous for their double doubles, which is two pieces of meat, two pieces of cheese, in between two pieces of bread uh, that they put together. Absolutely delicious, it's wonderful. We wanted to do a 100 by 100 challenge, right? Because you, you can go and you can get a, a double double, a three by three, four by four, five by five. I think they stop you at like a six or an eight or something like that. But we were like, we want to do a 100 by 100. It ended up taking them like three or four hours to be able to put together this entire burger patty. And they gave us uh, the Flying Dutchman, which is ordering a piece of meat with a piece of cheese on it. So we ended up getting like a double double and then buying 98 Flying Dutchman on top of that. So we ended up creating this burger that was 100 by 100. Look at all that meat. That is insane. That was ridiculous. Uh, Natter and I went to in and out We made that happen. Matt was like, here's our ATM card. Go ahead and take care of that. So we went to in and out requested this. We went on a little mission. It's crazy to think that we tried it just with four people. I'm pretty sure if we did it with five, we probably could have taken care of it, uh, gotten it all done. We failed this miserably. I don't even remember how many pieces. Of, I mean, that looks really, really good. I don't even remember how many pieces of meat I ended up eating, but that was one of the most delicious and troublesome challenges I think we've ever done. So you got Reckless, Natter, A3K, and myself trying to put down 100 by 100. So you can see at the end, we've got one bottom bun, and then over on the other side, flopped over there, is one top bun. And the rest is just meat and cheese, that's it. Oh, we tried to do it in 30 minutes. That's absolutely crazy. Now, of course, we're not gonna sit here and watch it all, but all the links are down below. Make sure to go ahead and watch this video. Uh, I kinda really, really wish that we could try this one again. That was a very, very expensive uh, challenge to be able to do. So for Matt to front the money to be able to, to make all of this possible. But it's one of those things that, because I went and I had a hand in making all of it happen, right, not to put myself over, but to go and walk into the in and out to go and request this thing, it was just like, hi, we need to try and put, oh, we're getting started. There we go. So I took the bottom bun and a couple pieces of meat. Man, what I would do to eat that right now. But to be able to sit down and be like, hi, we need to create a hundred by a hundred. How do we make that happen? And, and it was just like, I need to go talk to management, go talk to management. Management called corporate. Corporate had to freaking say, because if you take all those patties, they make all their patties fresh and everything. If you take all those patties, they may not have enough to be able to make it through their day or the next day or two or however it works out. So we ended up having to get approval 
from there we were very open and honest like hey we are making a YouTube video and this is what we want to do are you guys down to make it happen luckily for us uh, they they were more than gracious helped us out and uh, made it possible for us to do this video I mean when you think about it that is 25 beef patties a person and that is insane the fact that we even did as much as we did was nuts uh we definitely let natter down throughout this entire thing but man we put in some work i mean here we go it looks like we're about to divide up the last of it to think that it only had 226,000 views at this moment is just insane. Like, that should have been millions, right? It must be because in and out is just a very regional thing. But, uh, yeah, we expected that to be a lot bigger than, than what it was. But I'm so happy to be a part of the in and out 100 and 100 challenge. And that is our 10th video here on this list. So, again... Everything is linked down below. Those are just some of the ones that when I think back, now that I'm getting ready to leave California, I'm not gonna be doing a whole bunch of reckless eating filming and stuff like that. To think back on the past 10 years of doing reckless eating, these are some of the videos that definitely come up in my thoughts uh, when I'm just looking back and thinking about them. So make sure to go ahead and click subscribe on my channel because we have a whole bunch of, of stuff coming up and i hope to be able to see you and have you guys watching uh all, all of these videos that are coming up it's gonna be a crazy next year time in my life and uh i'm excited to be able to bring you guys some brand new vlogs so thank you so much for watching my top 10 reckless eating moments right here on my vlog channel i greatly appreciate it again click subscribe click the bell do all the things that you got to do go ahead and watch these videos and see you guys on the next one peace